Giving back is something many of us aspire to do. May that be helping somebody on the street, offering your time, or donating items to an organization, or going above and beyond and opening up your heart and home to a child in need. That's exactly what the Panez family are working towards. They're becoming foster care parents. Take a look. Hi, my name is Michelle. This is my husband, Nikal. We have two beautiful boys, Jethan and Kingston. Uh, they're eight and six years old now. In becoming foster care parents, we went through the LA County DCFS, which stands for the Department of Child and Family Services. At the time that we were doing the classes, there was something like 35,000 kids that were either in DCSF custody or in foster homes. Um, it's just a lot of children who, who need somewhere to go. A lot of these guys who lose their kids are, have hit rock bottom and there's probably a sense of hopelessness and a sense that there's nobody out there that's gonna really care enough to help. And I think that Michelle and I have an opportunity to not only help the kids, but to help these parents and moms and dads remember that there's still people out there who are willing to help you if you, if you let them. Becoming a foster care parent is something the world needs a lot more of. And today we're collecting donations for the Panaz family and of course, doing a makeover. This makeover is going to be uh, a very special for us, for our family, and very special for whoever we end up opening up our home to. I think it's, uh, it's a way for us to show our own kids, as well as these new kids, that we care. We care enough to make something special for them. Even before they're here, we want to set up something special that belongs to them. Hi. Oh my Hi. goodness. Hi. Hi, open this green door. Who's behind it? Hey! You must be <laughs> Justin. Yes. It's nice to meet you. And you are? Kingston. 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 Are we making over your room today? Yes. Awesome. Hi, Hi. Nicole, Michelle. Good to Such see a pleasure. You. Come Let's on in. This room. Wow, very cool. So, Kingston, this is your room? Yes. It's your room, but it's also going to be a space for you to welcome another child into your home. Yeah, that's right. That's and the idea. And why did you guys decide to, to do this? Uh, it's always been something that's been close to my heart since I was a young adolescent. And uh, I married a man who said, okay, whatever you want, I will, uh, I'll support you. And as we went through classes, we, we fell in love with the idea of foster temporary care, providing a safe, a safe, loving environment for a child. So obviously having a space where they have their own bed and you guys have bunks here, so yes. this is great. So this is something we'd want to keep in the space, huh? Ideally, yes. Okay, so let's talk about the space. How about we kind of uniform the space to make it feel a little bit more neutral through the color tones that you like? What is your favorite color, Kingston? Red. It's red? And blue and green. Red, blue, and green, I like that. So I think the first thing that we need to do, guys, is to clear out the space. I got some things in the car, and then we can get some paint on the walls. Does it sound like fun? Yeah. yeah. Sounds, All right. sounds good. Okay. Ready? All right. High fives. Woo. Let's do this. You guys did a great job of clearing the space out. A lot of stuff to clear out. Okay, so now that we've cleaned the space, it's time to paint the walls. So let's take a look at the wall color. We have a nice blue. Let's take a look at this one. That's pretty. Nice, you like that? That's good. That's Whoa! Look that's at that my favorite color. color so far. Yeah, you like that? I like that. Okay, so here we go. We got Ooh. that color. Ooh. This color. Ooh. Look at all those blues. Wow. This paint, all right, imagine this wall blue. And then from one corner over there, this red is gonna go all the way up the wall. And then I'm gonna add some special things to the space so you have some great things to share with the person who ends up sharing the space with you. What do you think about that? Great. Great. Okay, so we have a lot of different colors. I'm gonna go ahead and designate what color goes where, and then are you guys ready for some painting? Yeah! yeah! Well guys, you did a great job on the walls. What do you think? They look, I think they look great. amazing. Really nice. Really nice. Well, we're not done. We've got a lot more painting to do this afternoon. Yes. And now we're going to move on to the furniture. We have three tones of blue and we have white. All right. 
The cool thing about upcycling furniture is that it's really easy. If you have a can of paint, you can transform something in an afternoon. So what we're gonna to do today is use four different hues to really make the bed stand out and really stand out from the color on the wall. So once you've sanded your bed, go ahead and these particular slats will be white all the way along here and down the sides. And also the drawers here, we wanna make those white, just the drawer. Because if we put a blue around the drawer, it's gonna make it stand out and look so different. And that's our goal. We're gonna paint the exterior a really nice dark blue, and this is really gonna be the bold color in the space. Okay, so let's divide and conquer so we can get everything done this afternoon. So, Nikhil, you take the brush, and Kingston, you're gonna stay in the room with your dad, and Jutton and Michelle, you're gonna come with me, and we're gonna paint some furniture. I think a color that Kingston's really gonna love. Don't go away, At Home with Didier will be right back. Okay, Jutton, what do you think we're doing with this furniture today? I think we're going to be taking something that's old and turning it new. We are! Uh, this is exactly what we're going to do. I love upcycling, and upcycling is all about taking something that you have and making it even better. And I think that is a really wonderful metaphor for what's happening in the space. Uh, we had an old room, but we're welcoming in someone new. So I would love to paint this. Can you guess what color we're going to paint it? Red. Ding, 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 you, are, you have all the answers today, Jutton. Well, I think this looks great. I'm gonna leave it to you guys. I'm gonna check in with Nikel and Kingston and see how the bed's coming along. All right, see ya. See ya. Good work. We gotta get this part too. Wow, guys, look at this bed. Looks great, right? You guys take direction very well, I love it. It looks beautiful, but you know what I want you guys to do? I want you to meet up with Michelle and Jutton because they've been painting outside for a while, and I want you guys to put the paintbrushes down. I'll take over, finish up the room, and you guys can come back and it will be all that done. That sounds great. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah. All right. Have we'll fun, see you Kingston. In a little bit. Okay. Good job. Put that one here. Yay. Yay. Hey, babe. Hey. Wow, this looks awesome. Isn't it look great? Yeah. Oh, look at how cool. Great. Upcycle, love it. You can see the wood through there. That's great. Listen, Kingston and I are done with the bed. Oh, awesome. And Didier said that we should head out to the park. Oh, great. So, Perfect. So let's fi finish putting our bins in, and then we'll yeah. go. Here, grab a bin, King. I really enjoy painting children's rooms because you can just use so many different colors. Uh, kids' imaginations are just endless. And what I'm doing here on the wall is adding a really nice detail through some paint. I've just put some masking tape up and I'm taking my roller and adding a different color, something very bold, something that will stand out. And uh, I think Kingston's really gonna like it. Perfect, now let's see what the family thinks. Okay, are you guys ready to see your new room? Yeah! yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Super excited. All right, off you go. Ooh. Wow! That is awesome! Oh. Look at your red stripe! Look at that cool it looks like red a new room. It sounds like they really like it. <laughs> and that might fix you! Wow, look at that! Look at that. Look at the pillow! Awesome. Look at your Dr. Seuss wall. Yep. What do you guys think? Yeah. Awesome. Do you love it? No. Nice. Yeah, it. This is such a beautiful space for you to welcome a new brother into it. <laughs> Let's talk about the room because you guys were really involved in the process. You did a great job of painting the walls and the furniture. Kudos yeah. to you and Kingston. Thank you. And Michelle and Jutton. You did a great job on the furniture. Yeah, it looks great. So we have a lot of blues, we have red in the space, and what this has become is just a really cohesive room. It's a very, even though there's a lot of color, I think it's going to add that real peaceful environment for when you do bring somebody into the home. And so we have the elements here on the wall with the stripes, a little special detail, you like that? I love, love it. it. Yeah. And then you'll see, I put up a Dr. Seuss image there that was donated by the Dr. Seuss Museum, uh, and some books down down there, you've got lots of space to add new things when someone new comes into your home. So do you yeah, love it? Really we awesome. love it. We love it. Do you love it, Kingston? Yeah! Yay! 
Yes, and I want to tell you something. What? I am so proud of you for being such a great boy and opening up your room to invite a new boy into your life and your family's life. And Jatun, what a great big brother you're going to be. High five on that. You guys are amazing. I hope you enjoy the room for years to come. But I got to go. It's my time to leave you guys to enjoy. And uh, best of luck with everything. Thank you so much. I know you're going to be an amazing, so amazing foster care mom. So and much. dad. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. And two brothers. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Bye bye. Bye, bye. Dee -dee. Thank you. Thank you, Dee Dee. Thank you, Dee Dee. Now, that's what I call a deserving design to a family who truly gives back. And that's all the time we have for this episode of At Home with DDR. If you're looking for more information on any of the subjects you've seen on today's program, you can always visit our website, athomewithddr.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>